The Committee of Human Rights just finished uh, the meeting with the Polish delegation and the purpose of the meeting was to review the report uh, presented by the Polish government as well as updated the committee about the recent developments in Poland. We as the civil society presented our own shadow reports and right now we are waiting till November until the final recommendations, the concluding observations are going to be public. As long as the concluding observation, observations uh, are not uh, binding, uh, still I believe that it's going to be very important advocacy tool for the civil society and it's going to be a clear, another clear signal for the international community what is actually happening in Poland. The members of uh, the committee asked about numerous subjects, but one of the main theme was the issue of the independence of justice, including the situation surrounding the constitutional tribunal and the constitutional crisis. Uh, so uh, the government, uh, the government of the delegation, had to uh, address the questions regarding uh, judgments that remained unpublished. Uh, also, they were asked about the recent uh, legislative developments in this sphere, uh, as well as uh, the prosecution uh, investigation uh, regarding the um, president of the Constitutional Tribunal. But also, uh, there were uh, questions concerning uh, merging the office of the Prosecutor General and Minister of Justice, uh, the unappointing uh, judge, uh, judges by the President Duda in June 2016, uh, and many other issues. The second subject referred uh, to the equal treatment in Poland, and again, there are numerous questions regarding the effectiveness of the mechanism provided by the, by, uh, the Act on Equal Treatment. There were questions regarding the entire framework um, supposed to protect uh, the equal treatment in Poland, including institutions like Ombudsman or Governmental Plenipotentiary for, for Equal Treatment. Of course, the members of the committee uh, were focused also on women's rights, and the access to free and legal and access to legal abortion, uh, given the context in which the uh, the um, meeting held, it were just two weeks after the black protest uh, in Poland. Among all of those questions, to me, one of the most interesting were the questions that the government actually did not respond to. Uh, the first one referred to the situation of migrants and refugees on the Polish borders. Uh, members of the committee asked about it today, but the members of the delegation did not respond on it at all. The concluding observations issued by the Committee of Human Rights in November will show us the main directions uh, and the main fields that require improvement and and increasing the standards of human rights protection in Poland. Uh, I assume that among those con uh, concluding observations will be issues dedicated to the Constitutional Tribunal, Independence of Justice and Equal Treatment. After the issuing the recommendation, uh, the recommendations, uh, there will be a good moment for government for another step. So the question remains as usual the same. Will the government adopt the recommendations and address them in a proper way in order to increase the level of protection of human rights in Poland?